totally thirsty this morning. Happy day. Sharon Horn from here. You can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet and this is the first time you are hearing my voice or seeing my face, go ahead and put hashtag pajama in the comments below. So I know it's the first time you're being exposed to the Pajama Grandma and all my interestingness and my magnifying glassness and everything that makes me, you know, a little bit strange. But you're watching me, so there might be a little something to your strangeness too. Today I'm excited because I get to go hang out with one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. It has nothing to do with work. There are two people I will drop everything for, including my work and everything I have to do. I'll reschedule appointments and um, everybody else. There's other people I love and care about and I might rearrange things, but these two people I will drop everything for. Unless I'm sick, my grandma's going to be 99 in October. If I'm sick or have a cold or something, I won't go see her. Not because I don't want to see her, because I always want to see her, but because there is no way I'm going to subject her to any germs or anybody else in the place that she lives. Because they're old and frail, and I don't want them to ever get germs because of me. But I get to see the other person today, so I'm excited about that. Today, I'm talking about the ugly truth. The ugly truth with respect to supersizing your business on my Supersize Your Business Challenge. The ugly truth was my question for Pajama Grandma because we all have ugly truths in our life. And actually, they're not as ugly as we think they are. We just think they're super ugly. <laughs> it's like my hot rollers. You know, they're pretty ugly, but I haven't died from doing a Facebook Live or a podcast in my curlers yet. So I think it's probably okay. In the overall spectrum of things that can happen in our lives, um, a little bit of embarrassment because of curlers is it's not even going to phase me anymore. I've been through a lot. It doesn't even bother me. So, ugly. <coughs> the truth, I guess the ugly truth about everything is that we are our own biggest challenge. We are our own worst enemy and best friend. And somehow we have to find a way to take that enemy, that person that gives us all the bullshit and negative self-talk, and turn them into our greatest ally, our greatest friend. Because we're, we're never going to be able to get away from ourselves. The truth is, we are always with us. So whatever we believe about ourselves, whatever we tell ourselves is the truth or is our reality, that's what we create and that's what we'll continue to create. But we've got to keep in mind that at any moment, at the drop of a quarter, we can change things. All we have to do is change our mind. So I'm thinking about that a little bit this morning. And I actually just got scared to death. I actually jumped. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video because I actually, there was a big flash of lightning and then a big crash of thunder right behind me out the window and it's starting to rain. But I, I jumped, so I'm going to have to go watch my reaction. I'm sure it's totally embarrassing. But the ugly truth is I get shocked and scared just like anybody else. Um, one of the dogs, my daughter has two dogs and one's at training and the other one's here, and the littler one is just a year old. She has got the most ferocious sounding aggressive bark. And she'll just randomly bark out of nowhere. And my daughter got scared yesterday, but I get scared like almost once a day by her because she just, you'll just be going about your business, and all of a sudden you hear this really aggressive, ferocious bark. And it just means there's somebody here or something, but it just, every time it makes me jump. So I'm not very good at being scared at things. Today, hanging out with somebody I love and care about. Then later in the day after that is done, I will come home probably tonight, this evening, and I will do my Supersize Your Business webinar because I've got some cool twists for it, some things I want to do differently with it. And then I think this will be the last time I practice it. I said last time was the last time I would practice it on my personal Facebook page, but I think I'm going to do it one more time, and then I might actually do it tomorrow on a Saturday. I know, on a Saturday. I might do it because I might that I think that might be a better way to get in front of my right audience is to pick it and do it at different times. Now I know Friday night is not a good time to get in front of my desired audience, my ideal people, but I need to practice it so I do it when I can do it. And if I catch a couple of people, great. If I don't, that's okay too because I know that it's not my perfect audience that I'm presenting it to. It's like if you practice a speech in front of the bathroom mirror. You know, you know the bathroom mirror isn't going to answer and respond to you, but it's still good practice. It's still helping you to grow and personally develop and get better at a particular skill. So that's what I'm doing today. What are you up to? Share in the comments below. I would love to know. Have a fantastic day. I will 
See you tomorrow. Pajama Grandma out.